Hey guys, I got another video here for you in my series of Get Ready for Radiant Escalation videos. I think I said video twice in there. Anyway, uh, this is my axe build, uh, as the title uh, says. So let's get right into how this build works. And this is a little off the meta uh, for axe builds, uh, at least the way they typically are. So I'm going to kind of show you what everything is and explain why it's a little off the meta for this. And then we'll get right into the demo here. So we're using the Mind Splitter, which is, of course, pretty meta. And the Stalker's Mercy is what we're throwing in for the bond. Because this is going to be an escalation that we're playing, uh, we don't want to use the Shroud Bond. You pretty much only want to use that for uh, trials, in my opinion. We got Overcharged Cylinder, of course, because that's going to be best for Escalations. Grim Onslaught is the standard go-to. And uh, for this build, I'm actually running Energized, and I'll show you why in a little bit. There's some other things you could put in here, like you could put in Evasive Fury or uh, something, pr pretty much whatever you want. I'm trying not to run Berserker with this build because it's Axe, but... You know, in the long run, uh, if you really want to swap out these Energized, you could totally stick Berserker in there. Uh, I'm not using Revenant because, again, this is an Escalation, and I'm trying to avoid things that would get me killed. <laughs> uh, so Discipline is a nice, quick counter attack, something that Axes typically aren't good at. So if you need to just panic counter something, Discipline's the way to go. Also huge bonus on the uh, critical uh, stats there and of course if we got um, pulse up then that's just even more damage on there now I'm running Shrike Lantern you could run Pangar but typically I like my combos to go fast so uh, that's literally it that's that's <laughs> that's the, the lantern to boost your attack speed uh, I'm running Cascade. Now you could run Molten in here. Axe is at least moderately mobile, but with running Assassin's Frenzy and Shrake Zeal, I feel like a little bit of extra attack speed isn't going to help too much. And the Cascade does two things for us mainly. Uh, one, the Yellow Orbs. Always try to grab those because they let you charge your horizontal attacks as long as you want because it's infinite stamina. So they're absolutely fantastic for that. And then that way you're also not out of stamina by the time you need to dodge. So no unexpected uh, uh, getting, hit, getting hit because you don't have stamina. Uh, two, it gives us red orbs, which give you a little bit of uh, extra damage in your attacks. But most importantly, they give you a pretty good damage boost on your axe throws. And that's what this build is kind of all based around. So... Uh, let's just get into this. Since this is a light escalation, I tried to throw in as many light pieces as I could, and this is what I came up with. So I got the Time Weave Helm uh, with Pulse in there. I got the Time Weave Robes with Overpower, and the Chrono Treads with Cunning. And then for my gloves, I got Milk Grips with Cunning. So Pulse is very important to any axe build, in my opinion, because it boosts that axe throw and guarantees that it's a crit, assuming that you're paying attention to your Pulse stacks. Pred is, of course, pretty natural because uh, uh, give get a big boost to that axe throw right there. Overpower I threw in there because uh, typically as soon as you throw your axe, you're getting a part break and, or um, you're getting a boop uh, with your discipline and then you're immediately doing an axe throw. I recommend that over axe throwing to get a boop. Uh, so another good reason for discipline there. That way you get the full damage bonus of the overpower and the axe throw, which is really nice. And Ener energized is drastically going to improve how fast you can get uh, full meter axe throws. It's pretty big difference, especially if you got 10 sword reforges. Cunning should be fairly obvious. Mostly you're taking that for the critical strike damage, but the critical strike chance is nice too. Assassin's Frenzy is pretty obvious. Uh, you're getting a lot of part breaks on axe throws, so... That granting you extra attack speed to then use to build up your meter again is a pretty win-win scenario. And then, of course, the Cascade. Now, Tonics, you can honestly take whatever you want. Uh, Blitz Tonic is really good for this, and if you're just running uh, regular 10 to 50s, then I uh, highly recommend Blitz Tonic just to just kind of pop and help you get the meter faster. Frenzy Tonic, a little extra damage is always nice. 
and Aether Drive Tonic is uh, to help maintain that extra attack speed bonus. Now you could bring some extra healing if you're not too confident, or kind of whatever you want. But uh, with that, let's honestly just jump right into this here. So I'm just going to drink a couple tonics. Do not fully charge if you know the behemoth is going to... Ooh, I rolled a little too early there. Uh, attack you. Also try not... What is he What is he doing? Okay. Oh, I tried to stay to the side. I'm not very good at axe. Uh, there's certain behemoth attacks where you know if they're coming at you, you can like step to the side and still end up hitting them. So There we go. All right, there's my perfect, and I got a red orb. So let's break apart here. Go for that tail. Maybe get the stagger. All right, you see how fast that can end up going once you get the the part breaks going. Now I was actually all ready to do another axe throw there already, but he died. Uh, right before it was available, so uh, very good at keep. Ooh, that should cap my attack speed. Another good thing to note for since you're doing escalations, expect attack speed buffs. So uh, only having two things that boost your attack speed instead of three is typically good because that way you can just nab a attack speed boost, whether it be uh, the one I just grabbed, Go Time, or the the other one. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. He's gonna, yep, I figured he was gonna hit me. I can't believe none of those hit me. I'm wondering if there's gonna be lifesteal in uh, the radiant escalation. Oh, it's my pulse, I need one more. Come here. Get out of there. All right, come on. Come on, I would like some stamina, please. That would be great. This is why I'm not an axe main. Oh my god. If as soon as you uh, don't get those yellow orbs, your stamina just drains really fast. Uh, if you have any tips, feel free to leave them in the comments uh, on how I can improve my axe gameplay. I'm already at full, I don't need any more. I just need some pulse stacks. Come here, buddy. Ah, dang it. Oh, come on. Oh. I usually struggle with these fast behemoths on X. I so slow. Ooh. Good opportunity for that X throw. Didn't have pulse up, I don't think, but I didn't want to waste it. Oh, I am stuck in between the claw and the head, so I guess I'm just doing core damage. And he's dead. Oop. Oh, I had pulse there. Alright, I still got it. Always try to get pulse ready for the next round. Very, I guess not very important, but it definitely helps at the start of the round. Let's see. Wow, these are all kind of terrible. Okay then. Is that a shroud boy? He's got pretty long tells. Come on, Shroud Boy. Land so I can hit you in the face. Give me a red orb. Nope. Oh! Oh, that is that is not a regular Shroud. That is a Bloodshot.
All right, pulse is up. No red, no red orbs. Come on. You can see like pretty much one combo and I'm already ready again for another axe throw. So. Alright. You can actually curve that last hit if you wait like a... Oh, that's totally gonna hit me. If you wait like a quarter of a second Got my pulse. I can't believe that didn't break his tail. Lucky that goop didn't hit me. Ooh, okay, perfect timing. I got my pulse up, I am full meter, and I'm ready to go to next round. Now if we could get something that wasn't dark element and resistant to my weapons, that would be great. Koshai and Phalanx. Alright, this should be fun. I do not have very much experience fighting Phalanx with Axe. Let's see what I get. I was hoping for attack, but whatever. Ooh, bad start for me. Bad start for me. Holy Jesus. And I couldn't roll or counter in time. That was really bad. Okay. I cannot catch a break this. What is... I don't even know what was just happening, honestly. Alright. That... Oh, come on! That should have booped him. Alright, whatever. Thank you, Phalanx, for blinding me so I can't see the crochet. And thank you for getting in the way, I guess. Oh. You can always roll out of a, a charge attack if you realize you are at full meter and at, um, what you call it, uh, uh, Brain work. Um, wow, that was cheap. Ugh. I would like to be able to do literally anything right now. That'd be great. I feel like grabbing a yellow orb in lava is totally worth it because you can just roll right out of it at no stamina cost. Come on! Why you never let me counter that? That time it seemed like he stopped it short too. I don't know what the deal with that was. I wanted to keep hitting him for more discipline by the way. Alright, what's my pulse at? I don't even know what just hit me, but okay. Alright. Give me a red orb, thank you. All right, and my pulse is full.
do, 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 give me, uh, I guess I'll take full throttle. That's fine. Not really gonna help a super lot, but it'll definitely help. Since I'm pretty much always saving my pulses for my throws. Once I'm there. That first hit almost broke that uh, line arm, apparently. I'm gonna have to get out of the way of that. I'm gonna laugh so hard if I can get a stagger on him. Oh. I was trying to land that on his face. There's a face hit. Give me some jump hits. I'm not very good at these. I'm used to just aiming up and hitting it with my repeaters. <laughs> There's a stamina. Got him. I actually haven't done that in a long time. And the kill. That was the last hit, and it actually showed me the damage number. Because I didn't get VI, so I wonder if they fixed that. I'm assuming they did. But either way, that's uh, the video. I hope you guys uh, like the build. And let me know what you think in the comments if you got any ways for me to improve my X game. Because I know they're out there, and uh, I, I know a lot of them. I just don't do them because I'm an X noob, so... I'll catch you guys later.